So I'm here with Brendan Duncan. He's a member of the Spokane Falls Community College baseball team. And, and Brendan, you know, here you are, season starting. You guys have already got a few games under your belt. What things have you guys been working on and focusing on to improve this season? Uh, definitely. I think we had, a, we had a good weekend to start, uh, getting games in February in with Big Bend. Uh, and with that, I think that was kind of getting guys' toes in the water and uh, getting them used to the college game a little bit. And now it's uh, coming to the yard ready to compete every day. And, uh, you know, I think we have a pretty special group. And if we stay together with, you know, all the guys that get on the bus, and I think that we have a chance to do something really special this year. And uh, I think it's just a mindset from now on is coming to the yard and being ready to win and expecting to win and, uh, you know, doing everything the right way so we can win a lot of ball games. Yeah, and Spokane last year took third place at the NWAC tournament. Great run. But this year, you know, obviously you guys have the goal of something bigger, something better. What things have you guys really been trying to do and, and instill, especially in the freshmen, uh, as you guys get ready for this season? Uh, for sure. The the big thing is just the compete mentality. Uh, you know, we want to play hard for nine innings and, uh, you know, give it our best run. We have a good pitching staff this year so we can compete, you know, on the other side of the ball and put together some offense and I think we'll be okay. And So the big thing is just... Uh, you know, getting the guys ready to go. And then, you know, you guys, I mean, you're all about playing hard, working hard, focused, but you guys are also a pretty relaxed team, pretty fun team. Last year, uh, you know, you and I together kind of made Sports Center with the, I call it the bald head nerf dart throwing, but, you know, what's it like to be on a team that has the ability to be focused, be serious, but also be loose? I love it. Uh, my time at Spokane has been incredible. Uh, the coaching staff we have just makes it, you know, it's, it's fun and it's relaxed, but at the same time, we're here to get our work in. We're here to play ball, and so you know, as long as as long as the performance on the field is you know what we want and the product looks how we want it to look, then I think we kind of have some free reign to to keep it loose and keep it fun, and I think that helps us you know play better. You know, there's not as much pressure and uh, just kind of makes more memories that way too. Absolutely, definitely memories. And then you know, here at the college level, you know, it's a big transition from high school to the college. What things did you personally have to adjust and kind of figure out as you made it to the college level? Uh, I think the first thing was just the speed of the game. Everybody's a little bit quicker. You know, it moves a little bit faster. The arms are better, and uh, it was a little bit of an, an adjustment. But it's you know, putting extra work in, and uh, you know, just kind of getting used to it. And the more reps you see, then you get used to it. And I mean, even like this series this weekend. I mean, there's a ton of good players on the field and on both sides, and so it's competitive, and that's the biggest thing is just you got to compete for nine innings. And then, you know, even to make it this level, you know, obviously work and time, but it also takes kind of people motivating you and in inspiring you. Who's kind of been that motivator in your life to keep you going? Uh, definitely my parents. Uh, they've had my back forever, you know, and uh, my, I guess my journey hasn't been uh, totally uh, normal, mm -hmm. and I had an injury and some stuff like that, and they've always been behind me and uh, definitely support. They drove down over this weekend. They'll be here this weekend, so uh, it's pretty special to have their support and so appreciate that and last question i have for you you know you see kids always running around the ballpark what advice do you have for those kids who want to play at the higher level and compete at college uh the biggest thing is just just having love for the game i think that takes you a long way uh it helps you know you put put work and time into it but the more you want to be around the yard then you know that'll help take you pretty far awesome well thank you very much thank you